Jeez, man, you could, uh, you could have chosen another day to come on a date, dudes. Yo, so guys, and welcome back to Sugar Lane. After some days of traveling, we enter the never-ending forest, leaving the border behind as we march into Nogvergis. As we march, the forest becomes progressively wilder and denser, while a light fog permeates the air. The oaks, helms, and beaches, beaches, I don't know, give way to titanic trees whose trunks disappear into the mist fire above our heads. As far as I know, the people of Nogvergis usually live uh, high up in those trees. Izuin, Dad! Wait a second, is that the dragon girl? She's big already! Look at the size of those trees! Wow! Is she gonna call me daddy eventually? I don't want that. Yep, Izuin has made enormous leaps in her growth. It's been several days since we found her, and as the rice to earn us, she's growing up extremely fast. She even has the tiny little horns. And also, as Lutz said, it seems Izuin needed a father figure, and that's me. I'm her daddy. Mom, look at those birds! Wow, I'd like to fly like them! She flaps her arms as if they were wings. I'm gonna fly one day. She's a dragon girl, so she can probably fly one day, right? Who knows? Maybe someday you'll be able to do it, honey. Yes, Luth is without a doubt Izuin's mom. It seems to bring her nothing but endless joy. Her eyes are full of happiness every time I see her taking care of Izuin. No, Khan! Izuin is so noisy! Shut up, dude. So now we have uh, two children in our group. No, you're the noisy one! And yes, Anai and Izuin are now behaving like sisters. But anyway, we can forget that we're at war. She even has a tail. I'm not comfortable here at all, Nokan. For all we know, dozens of Narkverkans who could be watching us from the branches of those trees. I can feel their eyes like needles on the back of my neck. Heck, I can't take it anymore. How much longer do we have to trudge through this God's damned forest? Izuin will appreciate the bit of sun on her skin, and me as well, to be honest. This is a really dismal place. I'm not sure, Luz. We need to wait for them to contact us. And what if they don't want to? They will. They feel threatened. After all, we're an army, and we're marching through their lands. I don't want to sound like a bothersome kid, but... I I'm tired. All I hear is, did you get that already? Did you get that already? You spent half the trip in the carriage. I know, but I'm also bored. How much longer will it take? Now you're sounding like a kid. Not much longer, a little further along this path, and we should finally reach a clearing where we should be able to make camp. You know what else? This is the perfect place for an ambush. For us or for them? Okay, Sir Rice, that's not helping at all. I was just thinking out loud, I figured a skilled tactician such as yourself would appreciate my conclusion. Norkvergans are not a belligerent people. No. They're definitely not the belligerent people, unless an army trespasses on their lands with unknown intentions. Come on, Sarais, give me a break. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I'll stop. Yeah! Now what? I saw some shadows moving through the branches. I don't see anything. Oh. Okay. It's them! And suddenly I hear a rustle behind me as I feel a brassus advancing rapidly on me. I draw my sword and hurl around to meet them head on. We put a fight already? A spear point is within her hand's breath from my neck. The tip of my sword is likewise a hand's breath from a frowning face. Who are you? Kinda hot though. Can I have his number? Can I have her number? A Narverkin man is right in front of me. Then another pair of Narverkins, a man and a woman, step out behind them, but their attitudes are much less aggressive. I lower my sword. Greetings, Narverkin. Can you please excuse us for entering your territory? I am Nulkan, a human from Ashtira. From where? Ashtira, it's my nation. It's in the northeast corner of Sugar Lane. The Dark Vergans seem bewildered. It seems they don't know of much beyond their forest. You must leave our hands now, or you will regret it. Look, I apologize for entering our lands, me and my soldiers. But believe me when I said that, we're not a threat. We only want to talk with your leader. A quick chat, that's all I ask. After that, we we'll leave if that's what you want. I'm here to represent his will, and he wants you to remove yourselves from our lands. He I the spear threateningly close to my neck. Losing my patience, I lash out and grasp the shaft of his spear with my hand. I twist it from his grip, shatter it over my knee. Then I shuck the broken pieces aside. Did I just destroy his spear like that? Could you just do me the favor of taking me to your leader so that we may speak with them? Only that, nothing more. The Dark Vergen didn't expect my agility and takes a step backwards trying to defend himself from nothing. He glares at me with narrowed eyes and shakes his head. You, you'll regret this. You're gonna have to fight eventually, right? And the Nurkverkan leaves, or rather flees. Mere moments later, his two companions follow him into the thick underbush. So, they left. Jeez, it's going to be harder than I thought. Wow, where did that come from? Now, don't get me wrong, I love that masculine and testosterone field slap down you gave him. But I'm not sure if that was the best way to show them you're not a threat, knock. And <laughs> You're not helping at all, Sir I had lowered my sword, but that idiot was still shoving his spear in my face like a fool. I couldn't stand it anymore. I know, 
I know, you're far too manly for that. <sighs> anyway, they got the message. I want to talk with them. Who knows, with a bit of luck, they will finally accept. We hope so. Not with that attitude we just gave them. Now, Ken? I know that I, I'm also a bit tired. We'll reach the glade ahead and we'll spend the night there. I just wanted to tell you that I think you did great. Thanks, Danai. I don't care about an opinion of a child, okay? You stay away from me, Danai. We reached the glade and the army gets to setting up the camp. Walking through the forest is tedious and tiring with all the roots and undergrowth. We were only able to find this clearing based on some very ancient maps that the Yalan had in their library. I want my troops to recover their strength. Recover what? We didn't even fight once. What's this? Left, front, or right? And our tents are in different places now. I can date with uh, Danai? I don't want to date with her. Are you serious? No, mate. No, I don't want... No! Stop it! No! No, game! I said no! Oh, man, I have to do it, right? Jesus Christ. Danai, how are you feeling? Good, I'm dealing with everything. Obviously, this is a big change for me, but being young again isn't that bad. Before, you were the most beautiful make I had ever seen, but now you're also the cutest thing ever. Oh, but I'm still terrifyingly powerful! Mwah! You stay away from me. Terrifying? You sure, honey. You can be whatever you want. <laughs> no, can Don't tease me! Ha 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 Oh man, I don't want this. Spend some time with her? Nanai, look at that. On the wall. Nanai turns around. What's on the wall? What? What is it? Now that she's distracted. Tickle attack and we fight on the floor. Ah! <laughs> Stop! Whoa! What was that? <sighs> we have to go on a date now, right? Nanai, would you like to spend some time together? What? With me? Yeah, sure. Why are you so surprised? N -n -n nothing. It's nothing. Yes, I'd really enjoy some time with you. Fine then, let's take a walk. Just a walk, okay? Please, just a walk. We walk in silence for a while. The place is quiet. It's a bit late, but it feels good to spend some time again with Nanai, even though things are different. Nalkan? Yes? What do you think of me? The great oracle of Yellen is asking me what I think about her? Your friend is asking you what you think about her. Friends. I look at Anai. It may sound like a trivial question, but it seems important to her. If she's only my friend, she wouldn't mind me doing things with other girls, you know? I think you are amazing. It's like in you I can find those little things that I really appreciate in a person. You are beautiful, powerful, wise, and perhaps most important, you are a good person. Do you really think that? That I'm a good person? How can you even doubt something like that? Yes, you are one of the best people I've ever known. It feels good to hear that coming from you. And it's the only thing that is gonna come out out of me. No. Can, I'll be honest, if I'm asking you this, it's because sometimes I feel like I could have done more in poor trash, that I could have saved at least a good bunch of your and my people. I was a fool. You were the one who told me that we were victims. True, but if only I had acted a bit braver or than I... Give me your hand, Nalkan. I want to show you what happened there, that day, that moment, but through my own eyes. Why would I want to see that? It's enough. It's in the past. Are you okay with living through all of that again? I give my hand to than I. If I remember well enough, I survived the first time. That's all I need. Okay, here we go! I don't even have an option to choose yes or not. Everyone, be old. We will speak with those Assyrians, but be ready. Something tells me a fight will be unavoidable today. Tracker, what did you just say? Clear our ears, honey. Unavoidable? Now that the bearer has passed, it's necessary for the power to become stronger and more unbreakable than ever, Eric make than I. The mere existence of the Assyrian nation is the danger to everything the bearer fought so hard for. In all these years that's in power, he didn't do anything to them. They are peaceful people. I won't risk the fate of the Empire on such arbitrary decisions the Emperor made. As far as I'm concerned, these people are the weak link of the Empire. Trigger, this was an intimidation tactic to speed up the negotiations. That's all. <laughs> and that is how it will be, Archmage. You have nothing to worry about. Ugh. Okay, let's start the negotiations. My personal guard and I will go speak with them. But don't be surprised if they refuse to talk. They didn't even try, right? They will speak and we will negotiate. I really hope so, Archmage. I don't like where this is going. I need to talk with Archmage on. And quickly, Yellen is not going to war. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, no, I don't trust tracker citations. Me neither, make than I, me neither. Even a blind man could see is a natural liar. Then, what are we doing here? Surviving, than I. What? I'm afraid we have not many options. We are under their dominance, and an enemy like Erox will be the end of Yellen, make And, and how many lives will that cost? I can't believe what I'm hearing. I really hope it won't be necessary, than I, but... But what? We must think about what is best for Yellen. Right now, under these circumstances... Oh, no, oh, 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 what are you talking about? Don't worry, than I, with the Erox Legion, our best mix and two arc mix like you and I, Yellen will suffer practically no casualties, at worst. <gasps> I respected you. What a fool I've been. You are too young to understand arc mix than I. You're a good person because you're young. If you were an old person, it would be bad. I think Dragger's coming back from talking with their leader. Please, 
Please, Ear Striker! These barbarians are scum who don't deserve to join our empire, but this is not a decision I should make. The Empire had always wanted to reunite all the civilizations under the Empire, and even though these rats don't deserve the honor... No! Liar! That's what we'll do! Murderer! But they need to be taught a lesson. You cannot spit in an Empire's face without paying the price. To arms! Dragor! Dragor looks at me but quickly ignores me and keeps going with his commands. Mage destroy that door! Understood! One, no! But dozens of Mage start casting their spells as One starts casting one. Clearly more powerful than the rest. A spell only an Arc Mage could cast. Ah, 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 I need to stop this! Danai, how could you possibly have been so naive? Whoa, okay. You are too late, Danai. The door is destroyed, is it? Too late? Take the city! Don't hold back! Take away their lives! A regiment of Araxans goes straight to the city entrance. Uh, Dragor! You filthy liar! I will end this! No! I will end you! I start casting the most powerful spell I know. I can't hold myself back. My rage is filling the spell, and my objective is standing there. If I finish him, the fight will stop. One won't be afraid anymore, and we could pull back our makes. One life for saving hundreds! Oracle Eshimin! I hope you understand why I do this. Damn, why am I shivering so much? Calm down, Anai! You can do it! What? How is that even possible? The first regiment is totally annihilated? Damnation! Do all the squads! Let's take that damn city! Drag her! Die! Ooh, ooh, uh. You didn't kill him here, right? We killed him later. An impressive spear of energy is thrown from my staff. The sphere destroys everything in its path. Everything but Dragor. But Dragor's not in the spell's path. If he had been just a few meters to the right, Dragor's life could have ended there. But that was not the case. And the spell finally impacted against the Estiron wall, destroying a large part of it. Ah, I, I failed. What the heck was that? You almost hit me with that. Oh no, what a loss we would have. But I'm glad to see you decided to participate. That was really useful. Do all squats. Let's take the city! What have I done? What have I done? I see how the army approaches the city and finally enters. Run! 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 And I ran into the forest, refusing to participate in the bloodshed. And that's all, right? Nalkan, do you still think that I'm a good person? You destroyed the wall and you're the one who knocked me out! You were alone and faced Dragor. It was our fault! I'm putting fingers now. Uh, I can't believe it, so it was you? Huh? Damn, uh, I'm sorry, but I need time to process all this. It will be better if we go back to the camp. I need some time alone. Uh, I understand. I'm sorry, Nalkan. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm sorry. If it wasn't for the night, maybe his son will be alive. So so it was an eye. Me, I come in! Sarai, sorry, but I'm not in the mood. I know, that's why I'm here. It seems your date with Anai didn't go well. Were you spying on us, Arif? You know? I knew it, from the beginning. Why didn't she tell me before? What would have changed, Nalkan? Everything! Well, I can tell you nothing. She did the right thing, Nalkan, you know it. And I can also tell you that she's the bravest person in this camp. Facing your actions, facing your own people, and now facing you, with the truth you still didn't know. Everything! Damn, I know you are right, but I couldn't help but react in that. Way. I reacted like a fool and I think I hurt her. You did, but just apologize. She will forgive you almost everything. You're a lucky guy. Thank you, Sarath. I think now I see things a bit clearer. Glad to help. Oh, I thought you were going to do something with Sarath now. So let's say you were alone in face Traeger. I approach an eye and I hug her. Nokan, what are you? Don't you understand? I I'm the one to blame. You are the best person I've ever met and the bravest. I don't have any doubts about that. You were thrown up in the air because of my spell. And because of that, you saved my life. And I'm getting a second chance at stopping that. And Traeger is already dead. But what about the soldiers? The main gate was already destroyed. Traeger would have exhausted us through attrition, throwing one regiment after another until we broke. Against those numbers, we were fighting just to give time to the citizens to flee. But my man and I, I was pretty sure we wouldn't survive that day. Don't cry now. I don't have any doubt the result would have been the same, but I wouldn't be here today. Say something. Why are you so good to me? I grabbed Danai's hand. Because I know we have a destiny, Danai. And I know that all I need to do is stay by your side. Not many people at your age surrounded by enemies would have dared to do something like that. Don't be so hard on yourself. As you said, Dragor was the one guilty of that battle and all of those deaths. And I punished you already. Come on, Danai. This was supposed to be an enjoyable walk. I take Danai's hand and start walking with her. La 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 la! I really like this place. Look at the trees. I've been in that one with Luz. I've been in that one with Sarif. I've been in that one with... Yes, it's a relaxing place. I'm glad to be here with you. Thanks, Nalkan, for taking me here. You're welcome. I'm also enjoying this. Okay, then. Let's go with the happy path. Commander, Anok Verkin has arrived in the camp. Anok Verkin? Is it their leader? Don't tell me the dumbass with the spears back. He doesn't seem to be their leader. In fact, it's an Verkin girl. Let's just accept her in our camp, then. A girl? Um, alright. Tell me where she is. It's bad girl! Way better than 
wasn't a CW series. And as the soldier said, there she was. Good evening, girl. I wait, you you were with the man waving the spear around, weren't you? Yes, sir. My name is Vexim, but you may call me Vex. Sorry if I'm being a bit um hesitant and strange, but I've never seen so many humans. Actually, I had never seen any humans until tonight. This is new for me, and I think I'm a bit nervous. In fact, I don't really know what I'm doing here. This is actually the same when Ariel met uh, for the first time humans. Well, regardless, it's a pleasure to meet you, Vex. We have nothing to worry about. We're all friends here. As I said before, my name is Nolkan, commander of the Styrian army. Now, I'm glad you decided to speak with us, but tell me, what are you doing here? The two people sent you to treat with us? To treat? What treat? Is she the treat? But she doesn't respond. She appears to be distracted by something else entirely. She takes my hand and explores it with her big white eyes. A look of pure wonder on her face. Hey, she releases my hand. She turns her curious gaze to my clothes. Wow, this fabric is so pleasant. Um, Vex, I'm sorry, but what brought you here again? Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. It's just everything is so new for me and I, forgive me. I'm here because my people will attack you tomorrow, most likely shortly after dawn. What, an attack? I only want to talk with them. I know, but my people are afraid of you. Of us? Why? We didn't do anything. The Norkverkans have always kept to their own affairs within these lands and recently there has been news from the Norkverkan tribes in the north that some humans are starting to chop down our trees there. Those trees are our homes and they're destroying them and you, a human like them, come marching through here with an army so my people believe you're associated with the humans in the north. What? Chopping down trees? No, damn it. Now come to the north of Norkverk is this a seventh that's secured in the kingdom of Eldrian. Something tells me you must be the one responsible. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. No, 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 no. Vex, thank you so much for warning us. No problem. But let me ask you a question. Why are you warning us? To be honest, I, I don't know. I've been following you for some time and you don't seem like evil people at all. You only wanted to speak with my people and you could have hurt my companion Connie, Connie Earth, but you didn't. And I also see two young children with you. Bad people don't normally ask to talk. They just take and usually don't bring kids along. I felt this was the right thing to do. I don't want people to die from a misunderstanding or ignorance. They're gonna die if they come attack us, you know? You are a very brave and sensible Narkverkian. You will likely have saved many lives tomorrow. Thank you, and well, I must confess, despite my reasoning, I still wasn't entirely sure if I should, but I always say to myself, trust in handsome people. Believe it or not, it's always worked for me. Guys, in real life, do not trust handsome people, okay? Just saying. Just saying. But now, I need an answer. What are you doing in Arkvarkis? What do you tend to speak with our leaders about? This sounds apocalyptic, but it's a truth, Vex. There's a great adventure that is about to awaken in Shurgalain, a dragon named Alphathan. The Raxan Empire that rules in Shurgalain think they can awaken him and control him, but they can't. He's evil incarnate. Alphathan's only mission is to eradicate all life in Shurgalain. He already did it once. We must stop Arax before it's too late. Eradicate all life? Indeed. Vex seems nervous. That's why we are here, Vex. If your people agree to fight by our side, that will help us stop Arax and stop Alphathan. We are here to inform your people of this and ask for their help, not a fight. This is a disaster! If my people attack you and you kill them, they will never stop training you. But if you escape, they will never believe me and they will be contributing to the extinction of our life through our inaction. If you're right, escape is no longer an option. If you try to retreat, your people will find us as they are able to move far quicker than us, especially in the middle of the forest. I'll only be provoking the perfect ambush against my own army. We'll defend ourselves here. Obviously, it's not an easy situation. We're surrounded by forest in this place. Guys, I think I have an idea. Tell us, Anai. When they attack, we need them to flee, but at the same time, we can inflict too many casualties. That's it! Tell me, Vex, you and your people can fly. I bet you guys have little warriors that fall from the skies upon their enemies, right? But what if they needed to fight on the ground? Why would we fight on the ground? We know we have a big advantage thanks to our wings. Ha! Just as I suspected. You rely too much on our wings. What do you have in mind, Anai? I can prepare a spell that will drastically reduce their air pressure. If I do that, no matter how fast they flap, they won't be able to stay in the air. I bet they will choose flight instead of fight. They are no match for an experienced and armored soldier on the ground. I smile at Anai. That could work. The only problem is that this is not an easy spell. I need time to cast it. So while I do that, we need to be cautious and try not to inflict too many casualties on the Norkverkians. Otherwise, they will hate us and there won't be any chance for diplomacy. So I don't fight, is that it? Or I just fight a little bit? Okay, we can do that. We'll give you the time you need, Anai. We'll deploy defensive tactics. Maybe after they flee, they'll be willing to wear us out. Again, thank you, Vex. If only there were more sensible people like you in Sugar Lane. Thanks, I just felt it was the correct way to act. And some men are trustworthy people. No, no, don't go there. Haha, <laughs> well, thanks, I guess. By the way, what will you do now? Will you go back with your people? Yes, I guess I should. Wait, what if someone saw me coming here? They will probably consider me a traitor? Ah, I didn't think about that. Don't worry, stay with us tonight. I bet we'll be able to speak with them once things calm down again. But she is completely absorbed in white eyed wonder again, brushing her hand through my hair. Wow, white hair! A zero 
all these women good looking. Oh, I'm not old. It's just what the shrewd hair looks like. Silver white. Beautiful white hair. Wow, I see. Is it this color all over your body? Uh, I don't know how to answer that. Uh, I will say that you can stay with us tonight. Ah, uh, thanks. I think I will accept the offer. I sent out an order to all soldiers to rest until dawn. I need them fresh and recover from the long march. I also get some rest, but not too much. I really hope that nice strategy works. And the dawn comes. Everything is quite calm. Yesterday I couldn't shake the feeling we were being observed, but now they will come. I can feel it. Fax was right. So this is the calm before the storm. Please remember, I beg you, don't cause too many casualties. Not only to try to create an alliance later, but because they are my people, they are just afraid. Don't worry, we're not murderers. We're soldiers. I can be a murderer. Guys, what's that noise? Okay, guys, we want to thank you for this episode of Shrinkland. I think it has been long enough. Bye.